This past Friday night, Scotts Bluff High School put on their big recognition event with the unveiling of the inaugural class for the Scotts Bluff High School Activities Hall of Fame. There were a total of 19 individuals, four coaches, two contributors, and numerous teams all part of the first induction class. Scotts Bluff Activities Director Dave Hawksworth front and center with this big undertaking. We do have kind of a thought process behind it where we would like to try to see if we can get caught up in three years. So our goal is probably somewhere around 20 to 25 a year for these first three years. And then I feel like our committee believes that we can be caught up to where we would probably do somewhere of four to five per year. So these first years are definitely going to be a little bit more challenging, but I feel once we get caught up, we'll be in good shape. A big inaugural class meant plenty of work for everyone on the committee that was tasked in narrowing down this first class for induction. Um, we started meeting back in probably January. Uh, the first thing we started to do was look at a criteria, kind of like, and we, uh, not going to lie, we, we didn't rob from, we found something that we liked, and uh, we made a few adjustments that uh, we felt that were good for Scott's Bluff, but we came up with a criteria and uh, for athletes, coaches, contributors, and uh, kind of started looking at the process. And then we really honestly are starting tonight with the ones that are in the Nebraska High School Hall of Fame first, along with a few others. A great night for all the past athletes, coaches, and contributors at SHS, and something to build on for the future with plenty more induction ceremonies to come. Yeah, I just, you know, what we want to do is because we just have so much proud, rich history at Scotts Bluff, and I think it's one of the things that you're seeing here. People love getting together and being back with their friends and talking and you know Cheryl Harvey's on our committee she's a retired teacher and she's got great connections with all those girls on that track team and she's just tell us they brought them to the volleyball game last night and so that's what it's all about you know to me it's almost like another mini class reunion to, per se but we're getting them here to be able to you know enjoy time with each other again. Scotts Bluff High School holding their initial Hall of Fame induction ceremony this past Friday.